Okay, welcome back. Let's go to Danalor. Next, let's go to... Kobo. How can we be sure this experiment's gonna work anyway? We cannot. <laughs> so we start up some arrays, whatever those are, punch a hole in the abyss and then fly through? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Buckle in, Cal. Time to land. We are close to finishing this. One way or another. Yeah. Keep thinking about what happened on Nova Garon. I know. Just don't brood so much that you lose your edge. We're counting on you. Yeah, I understand. Let's ride. Just reach the control center. I'll let you know if I run into any trouble. I'll take you out. Welcome. I am Centauri Kree, the director of this experimental facility. Safety protocols require one person to remain here while the arrays are active. Grease, unless one of us is gonna stay behind, we need someone here to activate the arrays. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll ask around. See if anyone's got a death wish. Maybe Turtle? Maybe not, Turtle. Huh. <laughs> Z. I think. Herge troopers. What are they doing? Okay. Oh, 
Investigation beginning. PD, stem! There is no indication. Okay, okay. Well, that's gonna be a birther one. Unless... Try again. This time around, I will, however, save. Let's go, BD. Yeah, use the use the point. Ready to go? Let the brutality commence. Resistance is futile, maybe. Let me switch the dual wield. Safer that way. Need to kill them, huh? Fight together. I will remain strong. Wait for me. Run! You will survive. Aim 
Another sim. Any more? Good find, Beatty. He's almost dead. Forward. 
Seriously? It's like, <laughs> what next? How many troops can they throw against me? Okay, maybe I need to... Um, maybe I should switch to the blaster. Okay, up we go. I need something, buddy. Okay. Here, buddy. Throw it! 
for us. Maybe Bo told him we were coming. Okay. That's our uh, at least. This looks promising. All the arrays are online. Now we just have to activate them. when they evacuated. That's not gonna stop us. Proceed to the observation deck to initiate alignment. Huh. You gotta hand it to Cree. She thought of everything. Can't use this lift yet. See, you made it. Breeze informed me you're in need of assistance, so here I am. That's a long trip. Couldn't have been easy. I might be 200 years old, but I'm as spry as a Padawan. Amazing. Oh, Cal, this is simply amazing. Can you start the arrays when we're in position? Oh, I stand ready for your order. It would be my honor to see Master Kree's dream alive once more. We're your master. And head back to the Mantis, buddy. Let me go through the abyss. Mm -hmm. I'm not thrilled about it either, but it's the only way we're getting to Tantalor. Let's stop for a moment. Let's go. Maybe I can teleport now. We can. Gotta go somewhere.
Hope Grease is ready for a bumpy ride. Cal, is it time? We're heading to the Abyss now. Fire up the arrays. I'll be monitoring your progress from here. May the Force be with you all. And you see. What do you think is taking Z so long? Dagengera was the only person to live through what we're about to do. At least we will die together. Hey, great pep talk, kid. Hopefully they can fit that on my tombstone. Look. I bet that's what all the other poor saps said right before they were torn into vortex chow. <laughs> Great. Now it's an obstacle course. <laughs> Coming too fast? But you are faster. Stop piloting and start flying. I'm rerouting power from deflectors to the engines. What are you, crazy? You're trading safety for speed. Exactly. We're all in on you, buddy. You're right. It's my ship, ain't it? Greasy does it, baby! <laughs> This tunnel getting a tad cozy. It's not just you. Z, what's going on? The arrays are overloading. There's nothing I can do. I need to go faster. I'm going as fast as I can. Wait, wait a minute. Are you crazy? If you jump into hyperspace blind, they'll be picking up pieces of the man it's all over the outer rim. Do you trust me? You know I do, Cal. <laughs> Let her ride. Now. Did it, you three-armed son of a gun dark? <laughs> well, at least none of us lost our cool. Huh. Wow. I hope it's worth it.
So, this is it. Antelore. You and Marin be careful out there, okay? Yeah, yeah, you too, BD. We'll all be okay, Grease. I'm gonna hold you to that, Cal. I don't plan on living out my days on this rock, especially not with that traitor. We'll be back soon. Here we go. Tanalor. So this is Tanalor. Not what you were expecting? I don't know what I was expecting. So much has changed since I first heard its name. The temple's this way. Dagon and Centauri Cree planned their future here. And look where it got them. There is. Bode will not let this end peacefully. He has already used fatherhood to justify betrayal and murder. Now we have him cornered, with nowhere else to run. He will kill or be killed. <coughs> well, say something. You're right. But what about Kata? She's not much younger than we were when our families were taken from us. I know. You and I will carry that loss for the rest of our lives. But Kata still has a chance. Yes, she does. Very well. We will give Bo the choice to stand down. For Kata's sake. And ours. I keep thinking about something Seer once said. A warning. Every Jedi faces the dark side. I feel so much hatred towards Bode. Seer won her battle with the dark side. You will too. Fall back to the temple. The Nile are enveloping our position. Master Gera, that is an order. So this is the paradise that we've been promised. I mean, it has water, it has plant life. Those are two very important things. It means you can grow food. Whether or not the soil would support food production is another matter, but... Here we are. Give me a meditation point game. Do you hear that? Gotcha. Hey, Kata. This is Marin. She's a friend. I'm sorry Papa hurt you. Yeah. He said I'd never see you again. What are you doing here? Kata, your father stole something very important. We're gonna ask him to give it back. Will you show us the way? Okay. Follow me. I don't like it here. It's dark and lonely. You don't have to be afraid. Better? You're very pretty.
Kata! How did you get here? It wasn't easy. You shouldn't have followed us. Papa, don't! Stay back, Kata. This is the only way to keep you safe. She will be safe. I promise, Bode. But listen to me. It's over. Lay down your weapons. This planet will be a haven for those hunted by the Empire. Including Kata. And you. But you have to surrender. Now. Go outside, Kata. Listen to them, please. Enough! I will decide what's best for my family. Then you are a fool. I don't think so. So using a blaster against Bode is not the wisest move. Dang and Garrick and black blasters. So we're gonna go with the cross guard. What do we have here? Our decision is final. Master Ancesis, please. He has the will to fight. And I admire it. But it is not only his life we would risk. The ships are leaving. There is no time. I suggest you both join us. I'm dead. Hey, buddy. Quick, help. Buddy, help. Trick for you. <laughs> you got 
chance! It's over! Okay. Okay. He is certainly driven by his rage, isn't he? Okay. I've lowered the difficulty to Jedi Master as opposed to Jedi Grandmaster. The reason behind this is, I think, one, it doesn't make sense for both to be easier, to, uh, to be harder to deal with than Dagon, Gera, and Ravis, considering what they are as characters, and two, I'm just sick and tired of this game. Just plain and simple. I'm not willing to devote more hours of my life just to learn to master of the boss fight. Let's do it. 
because the developers feel that they made some exceptional combat encounters. Distract him! I will strike from the shadows. Uh huh. Last like a third of his HP. And now we enter phase two. Great, he put a firm uh, detonator, a grenade. Then please toss me one BD. Another one. Okay. Learn to fight. 
Right here, buddy. Okay. He's down to a quarter of his HP. an animal. We know what it's like to grow up alone. Please, listen to them, Papa! All right. And when the Empire comes, will you be able to protect my little girl? <laughs> I'm sorry, Kada. I tried. How are you feeling? Better. Thanks. Good. We should speak. I was not much older than you when I lost my family. For many years I carried this pain. I did not want to feel better. Why? I thought if I let go of the pain, I would be letting go of the people I loved. But I was wrong. And one day, I met someone who also lost his family. Together, we found another way to survive. This pain is yours. It is part of you.
when my mother died, it changed Papa. And me too, I guess. Yes. But it does not have to define you. And you must not let it consume you. Save my life on Brock. You let me walk my own path when I needed to. You taught me what it truly means to be a Jedi. Now you're gone. We will continue your legacy, Seer. We will build something that can outlast the Empire. I promise you that. I promise. But I'm scared. I almost lost myself. I don't know if I'm ready. know if I'm ready for what comes next.
Guide her through the darkness. And that was it, Jedi Survivor. Maybe I'll make a full review on the game. Maybe there is other things to say. But, okay. What now? Well, it's not exactly what we expected, but this place is our home now. Yeah, Grease. Yeah, I guess it is. Still got a lot of work ahead of us. It will take time to contact the Hidden Path. And find the Anchorites. And build a saloon. I mean, the place is creepy, but it does have franchise potential. This belongs with you. It belongs with all of us. What do you think, kid? Should we give it a shot? Yeah. Let's do it. Ah, that's the spirit! Oh, that's great. Come on, I'll bet you're hungry. I'll make you something to eat. Did you ever have a scar stick? Yeah. Well, that was it. Jedi Survivor. Was it worth it? Well, I mean, they're certainly trying to go for high emotions there at the end, but here's my perspective, if you will. This game has incredibly poor performance. And I'm not just saying small potatoes here. It's like literally, it runs. Uh, it's one of the worst games in terms of performance that I've played in an enormously long time. I, relative, of course, to the computer that I have, relative to its graphics, relative to its engine. They don't have an excuse, by the way. Like, I, I just want to emphasize. They do not have an excuse for this game's performance because there are games that run better look better or about the same Even in this exact same engine that they're using maybe they pushed it all the way to the brink, but all the same That's the thing So there's no no justification for the poor state of the game Design-wise, I think the exploration aspect suffers a lot due to the developer's poor design of, like, rewards. Because, like, exploration for exploration's sake is not and has never been an, an, a, a great experience. In terms of video games, of course, right? I mean, very rarely are you impressed when you're just exploring things. And... Like, for the most part, what are you getting? A couple of cosmetic colors for stuff? Saloon stuff that's meaningless? What about something meaty? Something like... Say what you will about Elden Ring. At least you are getting stuff. Sure, you may never use, like, half the weapons or even a quarter of the weapons you're getting. But a weapon is a weapon. It opens a different playstyle, different, uh, different possibilities. Armor, you know, looks cool beyond just the... Uh, um... 
but but beyond that fact, there is also the stats that our different armors have, and it takes time to figure out. Okay, what's what do I want to use in terms of armor? Here, what you're getting is like just purely cosmetic stuff, and it's like that is not enough for me to spend hours. Like I feel I wasted a lot of my time just exploring the stuff for very, very little. I mean, I get, gained experience. Exp like the only things that are worth it from exploration is like HP, flasks, etc. But then you get the game where the boss fights, especially the final boss fights, Vader, like be a Ravis, Dagon, Gera, Vader, or Boat. It's like, oh yeah, you got all of that stuff. Enjoy getting smashed to pieces. Because ultimately what those bosses are about is parry. Uh, parry haste, if you will, right? Parrying at the exact time to overcome their attacks. And hell, Bode feels more like Anakin than Anakin does. <laughs> That's saying quite a bit. And I'm supposed to take that seriously? Uh, like, he's, a not, he's not even a Jedi. Like, look at Cal. Cal spends two entire games... Discovering who he is as Jedi, becoming more and more powerful, and then this guy, who had, who barely has any knowledge of the Force, barely has used it because he's been trying to stay hidden, somehow is not only on par with Cal, but he far surpasses his, his, uh, surpasses him. Actually, even more than that, like, like story-wise, we obviously know Bo is worse than Agon Gera, but it's like boss fight-wise, he beats a crap out of. Dangangera. Like, he's far more difficult. He's the most difficult boss in the game. And I'm not against the final boss of the game being the most difficult, but it also has to feel appropriate. Like, if Vader was the final boss of the game, that would actually be fairly damn appropriate, right? But getting a boss that's harder than all the other major bosses that you've encountered so far, regardless of the difficulty you're playing on, when he's an insignificant character compared to those, like, yeah, Dagon Gera, Ravis are not necessarily more significant as characters, but, I mean, you look at a guy who's basically a Jedi Master in Dagon Gera, you look at Ravis, who's like an absolute monster, and it's like, both is stronger than either of those? I I'm sorry, like, that's one of the reasons I lowered the difficulty, because it's like, I just couldn't take this fight seriously. Oh, don't do that. Ghost star, are you very far? All night long, I will sing your song. If you watch over me. Ghost star, hiding in the night. All your friends are so bright. When the sky is clear. I can sense you near, looking down on me. Ghost star, silent in the sky. Now I start to wonder why.